Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Roll of Queen. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. If this is your first time on the channel, please be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Let's not waste any more time, but let's jump right in. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I was on Twitter and I had posted the ICV2 numbers for the Tim Drake Robin book and something that I noticed in the replies and even outside of Twitter, I, I've seen it brought up a couple of times is that they believe that Damian Wayne's Robin book was canceled in favor of Tim Drake's Robin book. So is that true? No, it's it's not true at all. I think a lot of it has to do with the frustration behind the Tim Drake book. You know, I'm not reading it, but I do keep tabs on it. I know people aren't big fans of the art. I personally am not a big fan of Megan Fitzmartin's writing. And I think that's the case with a lot of other people as well, which is why the numbers show that it's not performing as well. And I think that mixed with the fact that Damien's run had just ended they're all feeling like, hey, this was all a big plan for DC to push Tim Drake over Damian Wayne. That's not true at all. You guys got to remember where things were at the time. Now, Williamson at the time was writing a number of books. He is also the architect of DC. And I think instead of just risking running the Robin title to the ground, which was a pretty popular title, he just decided to work with Mark Wade and shift his story over to him. So if you're reading Batman Superman's World's Finest and you're reading Batman versus Robin, you can see the connective tissue there. And now all of this has accumulated in Lazarus Planet, which came out a couple of days ago. And it just so happened that the Tim Drake Robin book just got announced. So it's just a whole matter of planning, just coincidence. Hey, it, it, it is what it is now. You know, if you're not feeling the Tim Drake book, I totally understand. I'm 100% behind you. Thank God there's alternatives. If you guys are not liking the Tim Drake book by Fritz Martin, I said it before in a previous video, you guys can go and check out what's happening with the Chip Sadarsky Batman run, because even right now, there's a Tim Drake-centered backup, and trust me, it's a lot better than what's happening and is ongoing. And still, you still have Damian Wayne running around. Like, you get your Damian Wayne every single month. So it, it doesn't mean that just because Tim Drake has an ongoing, it doesn't mean that DC favors them all. It's literally just a matter of how things played out. Uh, will we see a Damian Wayne ongoing one day again? I I don't see why not. Let's see how Lazarus Planet rolls out and we'll see where Damian Wayne ends up. If it calls for ongoing, then it calls for ongoing. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even think the Tim Drake book is going to last much longer anyways, because you know, if you go check out the top 200 ICV2 numbers, and again, I do that every single month, you can see that this book it started off not in the best shape numbers wise, and it's continued to go down. So I don't see that book lasting much longer, but for the case of this video, no, DC did not cancel Damian Wayne's book just so they could push Tim Drake. That's a total lie. It's, it's a fallacy. It's fake news. All right. So just, just get that out your heads, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you reading the Tim Drake Robin book? Do you like it? Do not like it? Why? Uh, and please try to be respectful. And are you paying attention to what's happening with Damian Wayne over in Batman versus Superman and Lazarus Planet? So again, be respectful. Love to hear your thoughts down below. But again, if this is your first time on the channel, please be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Thank you for checking out the content. Much love, much peace. It's your boy, Wolver Queen. I'm out.